Welcome to the final session of Convention 23. Have you been blessed so far? Hallelujah. We certainly had, uh, have had a wonderful day in the presence of the Lord. And we're believing him for a great uh, session as we go into this final session for our convention. And so, at this time, I want to invite the praise team who is led by Brother Sanjay Morris to come to us as they lead us into worship. Shall we bless the Lord? Praise the Lord. Can we lift our hands and shout a hallelujah? Hallelujah. hallelujah. It is the final session for Convention 2023. And so whatever praise we have, we're going to give it unto God. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you all stand in the presence of Almighty Hallelujah. God? Hallelujah. 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 Psalms 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty act. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the lo loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that have breath lift your hands and praise the Lord. Let everything that have breath lift your hands and shout a hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All praises be to the King. Oh, kings and the Lord, oh God, is one the fall. Oh. The joy bells ringing, tell me who is the king of kings? Nobody but my. Tell me who, tell me who, may the angel tell me who, may the joy bells tell me who is the king of kings? Nobody. Yes, he may, yes, he may, the world he may, the hallelujah, that's and then together with his mighty hand. Honor is control and honor is command Nobody but my God. Yes, who? May the angel tell me who May the joy bell tell me who Is the king of kings Nobody Yes, he may Yes, he may the world All his master and good God almighty Oh, honor Yes, who oh, good God Almighty? Tell me, tell me, tell me, is the King of Kings nobody? Yeah, good God Almighty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 
mighty long way, Lord, a mighty long way, a mighty long way, Lord, a mighty long way, a mighty long way, Lord, a mighty long way. Look where you brought me from, a mighty long way. Can we declare a mighty? Year of convention, a mighty look where you brought me from. A mighty, can we do that one more time? A mighty long As long as 
want to testify. Ah, when, oh, when,
invite us at this time to just hold hands with our neighbors as we go to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, as we come before you even now, you are the God of Abraham. You are the God of Isaac. You are the God of Jacob. We lift you up. Lord, the earth is yours and the fullness thereof. Lord Jesus, you are from everlasting to everlasting. You are a sovereign. Lord Jesus, we praise you. Lord, you are the Alpha. You are the Omega. You are the beginning. You are the end. You are the first and the last. Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Lord God, we, we lift you up even now. You are the solid rock that we stand on. Because Lord Jesus, the songwriter said, My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. On Christ, the solid rock, we stand. And God, we come to you this afternoon. Lord Jesus, we are moving forward together and we are resisting evil and we are doing good through you. Gracious Redeemer, we recognize that the times that we are living in is not easy. We recognize that evil is prevalent. We realize, God, that evil is seen. Oh God, among our young people, evil is seen in our government. Evil is seen in opposition. Evil is seen, Lord Jesus, in the military. Evil is seen in the police force. Evil is seen on every front of this nation. But God, even now as we come before you, the psalmist declares, unless the Lord builds a house, they who build it labor in vain. So God, we come before you again. And as a denomination, Lord Jesus, we recognize that we can't go forward without you, Lord. We can't even walk without you holding our hands. Lord Jesus, we pray that you hold our hands even now. We pray, God, that you guide us, O oh great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. We are weak, but thou art mighty. We pray you hold us with your power powerful hand we pray bread of heaven feed us still we want no more and we stretch our hands to thee no other help we know but you if thou withdrawest thyself from us then where would we be lord god we recognize that in our nation we have seen some foreign altars being set up the altars of scamming the altars of murder the altars of kidnapping the altars of beheading but under almighty God we stand right now because he said upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail we pray almighty God that you move in Cornwall that you move in Middlesex that you move in Surrey we pray almighty God that you move in Moran Point that you move in Nick 
integral point uh, that you curfew the atmosphere uh, and that you take charge. God, we realize it looks like evil is having the upper hand. But Almighty God, thou art been our fortress, thou art been our refuge, and we look to you. We ask you to intervene, intervene in the condition of our nation. We pray you lock down some gunman bullet, lock down some witchcraft and obia work. Almighty God, we pray even now as I advise advance in your spirit uh, that you lock down some corners uh, and we release Jesus uh, we release the blood of Jesus uh, in Kingston uh, we release the blood of Jesus uh, in St. Thomas uh, we release the blood of Jesus uh, in Clarendon uh, we plead the blood in Manchester St. Elizabeth uh, St. Anne uh, Westmoreland St. James St. Mary Hanover Trelawney Lord God we look to you from whence commit our help our help cometh from you which make heaven and earth Lord Jesus Christ your word said that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge he is my fortress he is my God in him will I trust Father, we pray that you fill us, Lord, with your power to do good. Help us to look out for each other. Help us to support each other. We come against the Sambalat and Tobiah spirits in our churches. We come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that you strengthen the pastors to do good. Strengthen our deacons to do good. Strengthen our leadership to do good. We commend our churches to you. We pray God that you cause us to do good even Lord in times of chaos. We pray that you have your way Lord. Breathe upon your man's servant will bring the word. Touch him, Lord. Anoint him. And God, we pray that you clear the atmosphere and cause the word to go forth with power and with authority. Lord God, many of us are at this junction. We need a word from you. One word, God. One move. One word, Jesus Christ. One word, God. We pray that you show up, Lord, for us to do good and to fight against evil resist it and God we pray right now that you breathe upon our leadership of this nation God this country was born in prayer this country was built in prayer an eternal father bless our land guide us with your mighty hand keep us free from evil powers be our light through countless hours we look to you even now daddy jesus have your way even now as we tell you thanks and god's people say hallelujah i will be reading this evening's scripture and this will be taken from Psalm 34, from 1 to 17, and this is the King James Version. And I begin. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened. Their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of his troubles. The angels of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger 
but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good and keep thy tongue from evil, thy lips from speaking guile? Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. 17 and last. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. This is the word of the Lord and we say thanks be to God. Somebody, would you lift up a praise in this place? Come on, somebody, would you lift up a praise in this house? We have come to make his praise glorious. And I sense that this evening, as we bring our convention to a close in this final session, that there is a word here for someone to go home with. Is there anybody who sense uh, that there's a word to go home with? Ah, I, I sense that the Spirit of the Lord is fixing uh, to take somebody out of here with uh, an anointing uh, that will enable you uh, to carry on uh, as we go forward together. Brothers and sisters, mine is the distinct pleasure to welcome you this evening to our closing session. Indeed, over the last three days, we have been really basking in the presence of Almighty God. I don't know about you, but I've been just basking from Friday night, all day Saturday, and oh my God, all day Sunday, what a time we have had. I want to just make special welcome to our visitors, some of whom would have spent the entire time with us. We've had some who have been with us, and we want to say really and truly, we're thankful for your presence and for your support. We recognize that there are so many persons whom have traveled from a far distance to be in convention. Some persons traveled up Bishop Friday evening, went home Friday evening, then they traveled back up Saturday, went back home Saturday, and then traveled up Sunday morning and will be traveling back. Come on, put your hands together for the people of God. Some come from Montego Bay, some come from St. Elizabeth, some come from Westmoreland, and just right across the parish. But those who have traveled also from overseas, I want to also welcome our virtual audience. So we have a very robust virtual audience that is tuning in. And I know that we have these, this audience coming in from Europe. We have this audience coming in from North America, from other parts of the Caribbean. And so we thank you for staying the course over these three days. We want to just say how much we really and truly welcome you. We want to acknowledge the presence of our immediate past uh, administrative bishop uh, and his wife, Bishop Dr. W. A. Blair and Lady Blair. Come on, would you put your hands together for them in a very special way? I want to acknowledge the presence of our administrative bishop, Bishop Dr. Roy Notice and Mrs. Notice. Would you put your hands together for them? 
we want to acknowledge all of the national leaders and their spouses members of uh, the national executive council and their spouses we want to acknowledge the district overseers the local pastors other leaders and just all of god's wonderful people but today we want to also say a special word of welcome to someone that is dear to us, Dr. Elaine McCarthy. Dr. Elaine McCarthy is the chairman of the Jamaica Umbrella Church, a group of churches. Dr. McCarthy, would you just stand so the church could acknowledge you? Would you put your hands together for her? Yes, we want to say thank you, Dr. McCarthy, for joining us in this service. My brothers and sisters, I firmly believe that God will continue to move among us uh, and uh, as he continues to move among us uh, in this service, we are going to continue to give God praise in this uh, our 98th uh, convention. May God bless all of us uh, as we continue to worship the Lord uh, together this uh, evening in our final uh, session. And so, at this time, we are going to be listening to Sister Shanique Leon. She will be ministering to us. Hallelujah. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Shall we lift up holy hands in the sanctuary this afternoon? The word of the Lord tells us in Jeremiah 15 that your words were found and I ate them. And your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. And we celebrate the King of Kings this evening, the giver of all joy. Even when it looks bleak, he is the giver of all joy. Hallelujah. I've got joy in the battle. I've got peace in the storm. I've got strength in the battle. I don't fear anymore. I'm a child of heaven and my hope is secure. I've got joy cause I've got Jesus. He gave me beauty for ashes. He turned my life around. He broke my chains and now I dance on solid ground. For all he's done to save me, I will raise my voice. I've got Jesus, so I've got joy. For all of my burdens, yes, my debt has been paid. Then he said to my dry bones, rise up out of that grave. He has all of my worship, all the honor and praise. I've got joy, cause I've got Jesus. He gave me beauty for ashes, he turned my life around. He broke my chains and now I dance on solid ground. For all he's done to save me, I will raise my voice. I've got Jesus, so I've got joy like a river running through my soul. Joy all around me, everywhere I go, even in the desert. Still it overflows Oh, I've got joy Yes, I've got joy never ending Cause he called my name Every breath I breathe A testament of amazing grace Oh, hallelujah Everything has changed Oh, I've got joy Yes, I've got joy. Turn my life around. You broke my chains and now I dance on solid ground. For all he's done to save me, 
I will raise my voice. I've got Jesus. Joy like a river running through my soul. Joy all around me. Joy, yes, I've got joy never ending. Yes, he called my name. Every breath I breathe, a testament of amazing grace. Oh, hallelujah, everything has changed. Oh, I've got joy, yes, I've got joy. Oh, I've got joy. Throw my chains and now I dance on solid ground. For all he's done to save me, I will raise my voice. I've got Jesus, so I've got joy. Come on, what? Mind check. Mind check. One, two, one, two. Two, my check. Would you just turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I've got joy. Come on, turn to your other neighbor and say, neighbor, I've got joy. No, just turn to your other neighbor and say, I see it over you. Uh, uh, I want to introduce you to a couple who have joy. Our Caribbean field director and his amazing wife, Bishop Ishmael, Prince Charles and Lady Charles. Would you just put your hands together for them? Would you stand, sir and ma'am, would you stand and allow the church to simply just put their hands together for the joy? Bishop, that's my comeback for forgetting you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our God is indeed an amazing God, and I'm grateful to God for what he continues to do. We have a sister by the name of Joan McLeggon. This is a sister who is someone who is not a stranger to struggle. This is someone who knows what it means to rely on God, to depend on God. This is someone who is uh, someone who has been through what we would call in Jamaica the hard knocks of life, but still has come through by God's grace. She's coming now to give her testimony. Would you just make her welcome as she comes to minister to us? Good afternoon, God's wonderful people. I am here to share some of my testimonies with you. And I'm hoping when I'm through, you will all be blessed. Before I share the testimony, you see, there is this word that came to my spirit. It's God's goodness and mercy. At age 17, I have accepted the Lord, and I backslided, or backslidden, came back to the Lord in 1997, and recommitted, and from there, I'm still working for the Lord. Trials come, but, but, I, am on a, but I am able to withstand with the help of God. Sorry for reading from the paper, because I have so much to say. I'm trying my best because of the time. The church I attended, otherwise known as Gully Road Church, are bored up. We have few members. I have been given the position of secretary, treasurer, Sunday school teacher, youth leader, 
And with all this, I love to do the chores of the church. Attending several church functions at times by myself and doing fasting in my church sometimes I'm by myself, I have been known as Sister Faithful. One Sunday morning, I end up at church and it was just me alone. After the lady came to minister to us and she said to me, Sister Joan, I believe that we just need to pray, read the Bible and go back home. I said, you come to minister the message. Someone is there to receive and please minister. A few days after she called me and said, Sister Joan, someone has received the message and they thought that the church was full. It was just two of us. This is a part of my testimony. In 2001, I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. The doctor wanted me to remove my wound, and I said no. He called me, and I talked with him. He said, you see a casket? I said, I know Jesus. I was also diagnosed a few years after 2008 with multiple fibroids and I did a surgery which I have lost a lot of blood the doctor said you need blood but hear what Jesus said no I did not receive any I met in several car accidents almost take my life two one is that the car I was in the tire blow out. When I called the owner of the car a few days after, the car was right off. The last one, gunman, shoot the driver in his head. He turned over. I suffered neck injury, shoulder, and I believe why I'm walking like this is because of it. In last year, 2022, I started to feel pain last year, March. Went to the several doctors. They don't understand why I'm feeling pain. Did an MRI. I was told that I have two broken discs. I did not do any surgery. And because of that, moving up and down was uncomfortable. When I stepped off, it's like when you have electricity shocking you. I was held by others to move around. I could not walk properly, and so therefore, I had to use a crutch. I had to use a crutch, and therefore, I had to raise, wear a back brace. That back brace, the bone specialist told me I have to wear it for life. But Jesus, but Jesus, I said, but Jesus, he is my healer. And that's the reason why today I'm not wearing a back brace. I left it at home. It's uncomfortable people, but I'm trusting God. Even though I'm feeling pain when I move, but I'm trusting my God. Looking at me now, you're looking for on somebody different. I weigh about 170 something pounds. The last time I weighed 120 something pounds because I've lost a lot of weight. I lose blood. Doctors don't know how I'm losing blood. And in January of this year, 2023, which I said this year, when I did my blood count at the hospital in Kingston, KPH, my blood count was 2.2. People look at 2.2. I'm still here. Because if it's not God, I would not be here. 2.2, you're looking at somebody who died. They said to me, you wanted blood. 
I left Cape Breton and said, Doctor, I'm not taking enough of your blood. They sent me to St. Anne's Bay. I refused blood also. And in March, my blood count went back to six point something. You know what? The devil is not true with me yet. I went to do a test. You know what they said? They found that I have blood clot in my lungs. But upon that, the voice of the Lord spoke to me and said, Whose report do you believe? He mentioned to me while I was sleeping, What you are going through will take prior and fasting. And that's what I'm supposed to do. Just a few months ago, I held on to the crutch, walking with the crutch wherever I go. But a pastor saw me and I went to the church and he prayed for me. He says to me, put away the crutch and walk. I put away the crutch and I walked. Then the Lord gave me a scripture a few days after, St. Luke 17. 12 to 14 that talks about the command of Jesus gave to the 10 leprosy do you understand who are the 10 leprosy men Jesus did not put any hands on them but he stand or the people stand afar off and he command them to go and show themselves to the priest all we have to do as church people don't depend on pastor to touch you or somebody has to touch you but believe by the word of God you can speak to your sickness and the sickness that you have will have to go I said to you I put away the crutch I put away the brace and I'm here in convention to tell you that Jesus is the answer to it all Jesus says to me not yet not yet my brothers and sisters I have been delivered and been delivered. Praise God. Thank you and God bless you. Permit me to disrupt the program a bit. But I think we just need to praise God for faithfulness. Faithfulness in the midst of struggle. Faithfulness in the midst of pain. Her faith is not a comfortable one. It is what we call robust faith in the midst of life's hardship. My dear sister Joan, you know, we met Joan when we were on a tour in St. Anne. And we went to the Heinstone Church. And we were very late. And when we reached there, Sister Joan, by herself, was waiting for us for the whole day. And she had snacks for us. Box juice, biscuit, bun. Let me tell you, church, I feel bad when I eat it. Because I felt we never deserved it. Because this is a faithful woman of God. And sometimes... When we talk about victory testimonies, it's not necessarily healing, but it's God's preserving grace. God accompanying us in the midst of our trials. Sister Charles, could you come and just pray a brief prayer? Hallelujah. Could you stand with me, church? We celebrate this woman of faith. We pray for her strength. Come Marlene, come and join and just hold her. Come around, Sister Charles. As you just pray, God bless you, Sister Joan. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have the final say. We stand in agreement this afternoon that the miracle that you have begun you shall complete it. We declare, we decree, and we believe the 
Father, as we lay hands on your daughter, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, healing is going through this body. The completion of what you have begun is done because we declare it, we stand by faith and believe it, we set it in the atmosphere that the devil has lost the game. Yes. And we have the victory. She has the victory. She is healed. She is delivered. She is set free. Woman, thou art loose from all your infirmities. It is done now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody would you just raise your hands and declare it's done. Somebody one more time it's done. Through the precious blood of Jesus, we declare that the battle is won. Hallelujah. And I sense that there may be some other persons who are under the sound of my voice who may be going through your own rivers, your own fires. We declare in Jesus' name, even now, over your own lives, that it is done. Your miracle hallelujah hallelujah come on somebody would you give god a praise thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah what a wonderful pleasure it is uh, for us to have dr mccarthy with us we're going to invite her at this time to come and to give remarks uh, congregation would you make welcome Dr. Elaine McCarthy at this time. I sense the presence of the Lord in this place. Is there a hallelujah in the house of the Lord? Can I hear the people of God just say hallelujah? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory, glory, glory. After that testimony, it's a reminder that our God is not limited and that our God can do anything and everything is there somebody with a need here today just start giving him praise in advance of your victory bless the lord bless the lord hallelujah to the moderator to bishop dr roy notice the administrative leader of this organization and his wife to all the ministerial team and leaders of this church I greet you well in the name of Jesus it's a pleasure for me to be greeting you on behalf of the Jamaica umbrella groups of churches because this is indeed a moment in time to give thanks and to acknowledge the goodness of God towards his people. We pause to celebrate along with you in your 98th year of annual convention. And this is really a milestone achievement a feat worth acknowledging and giving God thanks for. Because I would imagine many have started out 
98 years ago. But when you look around, where are they? But today, you have a testimony. You've not only started a race, but you recognize that the importance is to finish the race. Because many have started, but many have fallen by the way. So I'm sure as you reflect on your journey today, from the depths of your souls, you're saying, like recorded there in Zechariah 4 verse 1, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. It's not about you, but it's about the God that you serve. And because of that today, you're able to celebrate. You're able to carry on this legacy that you have started 98 years ago and attribute all that you have achieved because you have achieved so many things along the line. But all of it is to the glory and the honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I looked at your theme which says, forward together with justice and loving service. And I'd like to emphasize on those two first words, forward together. This speaks to the importance of keep on moving. The importance of engaging in the act of pressing forward in spite of the obstacles which you will encounter on your journey. And this forward movement will be done together. Togetherness is what is going to make you achieve all the things that God wants for you to achieve in this time and in this season. And therefore, when everyone is resolved to go forward together with justice and with ser loving service, then great things will be accomplished for God. So as I close, I'd just like to say, may the Lord God Almighty empower you to do even greater exploits in your Christian service for him as you go forward, not looking backward on what you have accomplished in the past, but it's a matter of going forward and seeking to gain new heights for the Lord Jesus Christ. And so the Umbrella Groups of Churches wants to extend to you our heartiest congratulations and to say to you, activate your theme that you have used this year in convention, forward together with justice and loving service. And as the songwriter says, then forward still, teach Jehovah's will. Though the billows dash and spray with a conquering tread, you're going to push ahead and roll the sea away. Go forward, New Testament Church of God. Go forward, doing great exploits for God. It's a minute to midnight and you have so much more to accomplish. Go forward in Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Dr. McCarthy. So appreciate your remarks. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the time where we are all able to worship the Lord together. And we're going to be worshiping the Lord with our monetary gifts. As we give to the Lord, I want us to be mindful this evening of a few things. As we listened this afternoon to the administrative bishop address, he was very clear about how the administration utilizes your gifts that are sent in. He also was very clear about the need that this administration have for you to continue to be faithful to the work of the Lord. Without your faithfulness, then we're not able to do that which you are depending on us to do. 
and so we're about to give and this evening or this afternoon we're going to ask you to give a very special offering you know all the testimonies that you have how God has been good to you as you give this evening some of you may want to make a pledge because you don't have the funds with you here and now and we want to let you know that we have pledge forms available so just in case you would love to make a pledge to the work of the Lord we're not asking you to go above and beyond what you're able to do but what we're asking you to do is to simply allow the spirit to move you now as you make a pledge as you give an offering and as you do so we're going to believe the Lord for a blessing we're going to ask you at this time to follow the instructions of the ushers as we invite the ushers to come and lead us in this time of giving somebody would you just touch your neighbor and say neighbor I'm ready to give and I don't need any pumping to do that yes tell your other neighbor neighbor give your best amen amen hallelujah I'm going to we're going to invite the worship team to come and the worship team will lead us as we give immediately after the worship team is through and we're finished giving we're going to be inviting our immediate past administrative bishop Bishop Dr. W. A. Blair he is going to be coming he's going to be blessing the offering for us and then we're going to ask him to greet this 98th convention when he comes we're going to ask you to put your hands together and make him welcome so let us give to the Lord at this time brothers and sisters Oh, I journey. Oh, I buckle up my shoes. 
Somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> Heavenly Father and our God, we bow in your presence this hour. Firstly, we thank you for your goodness, for your love, for your keeping care. Thank you for having bought us with your love, not with earthly silver or gold, but by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son. Hallelujah. Thank you for the gifts of your children. Thank you that you could have allowed us to give into your kingdom again. You said in thy word that when we give, you'll give back to us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall men give into our bosom? Lord God, we pray that you would return to your children, to each giver, that which you have promised. And let this money be used always for the building of the kingdom of God. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. You may be seated, please. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, I didn't say it for you, not even for my wife, Yvonne, but what he did for me, very personal. I give him thanks. I give him praise and I give him glory. Special greetings to the Holy Ghost of Heaven, to my leaders on this platform, to every brother and sister in Christ, to every visiting friend, to everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord. We can say together this evening, to God be the glory. Great things he has done. How many of us has that old slew foot tried to stop from coming to convention? How many times he has tried to trip us up? But God allowed us to prevail. He is the true God. I want to thank my Bishop, for giving me this minute to say to you that I'm still in love with Calvary. I'm still in love with Calvary. I don't know what you grudge me for. Let me say it again. I'm still in love with Calvary. It is Calvary why I'm here. Through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I've been born again. Set free. And living for my master. I want to congratulate my leader, my bishop. On the work that is being done. I want to thank God for Dr. Ishmael Prince Charles and his dear wife. I bless the Lord for each of these men and women on the executive. And I pray that God will keep us together, that we may live for him and work for him. And I say this one quick thing. It is never a well beginning. It's a well done. And a lot of us seem to be slipping and sliding. I didn't say backsliding, you know. Just slipping and sliding. 
But however beautiful or however pretty we put it, you must serve the Lord in the holy, in the holiness of his will, and in the beauty of holiness. I love every one of you. I thank God for the messages that we have heard this week. And I pray that God will continue to bless us. There's a lot I would have loved to say, but it's time for the word, and I'm, I'm just burning up to hear it. You don't hear me? All right, there are some of us who didn't understand that. Me just have bone up to hear it. Hallelujah to God. God bless you is a prayer of my heart. Keep on keeping on. Heaven is just around the corner. Ta-ta. Somebody would you give God a praise? I sense that there is an anticipation as we get ready to hear God's servant to share the word of the Lord. Of course, before he comes, we have a choir that is lined up behind us and ready to minister to us. I want to say to you, that is not all the time we see district overseers getting, you know, so actively involved in their parish that them all are lead the, the parish choir. And so we want you to put your hands together for Reverend Murphy from the Salem Church as he leads this choir in ministering to us uh, this evening. You know, after they're through, the praise team will come and lead us into a song of preparation as we receive the word of God from his servant. God's servant who will share the word with us this afternoon. He is one of the national evangelists of the New Testament Church of God in Jamaica. He is also assistant evangelism director for the Middlesex region. Additionally, he's a pastor and he's pastoring uh, the Spalding Church. Uh, that big pretty... Well, clearly he brought his amen corner with him. Yeah, uh-huh. That church is located in Clarendon. And he also gives oversight uh, to the churches uh, that's on that district. Since entering ministry, he has preached in crusades and other evangelistic services uh, right across the country and uh, overseas. He lives by the philosophy, a quitter never wins and a winner never quits. Brothers and sisters, immediately after the choir sing and the praise team comes and prepares this place, you will hear the voice of God's ministering servant as he ministers to us this evening, Reverend Steve Epburn. Would you receive the choir at this time? Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody, praise the Lord. I believe every one of us here this evening, we are either coming out of a storm, we have been in a storm, or we are about to go into a storm. We heard the testimony of our sister Joan this evening. But one of the good things about it, despite what the devil may want to throw at us, we ought to keep our praise. Does anybody have a praise in the house this evening? Are you sure you have a praise in the house? Yeah. Yeah. 
I've been through the fire I've been through the flood Broken in pieces I've been left all alone uh, hmm. But through it all God kept me And through it all God blessed me And I still have a praise inside of me Do I have a witness? Yes, I still have a praise inside of me. Say that one more time. I've been through the fire. Anybody has ever been there? I've been through the flood. Ha. I've been broken in pieces. Yes, sir. I've left all alone. Well, but through it all, God kept me, and through it all, God blessed me, and I still have a praise inside of me. Well, yes, I still have a praise inside of me. Come on, choir, help me now. Yeah. I've been through the fire, been through the flood, I've been, the flood. been broken in pieces, broken in pieces. Ah, I've been left all alone. I want to say to you. Have you ever been through the fire? Anybody here have ever been broken? Your best friends left you. But look at you this evening. Through it all. God left you. Through it all. God kept you. Can anybody raise your hand and testify? Yes, I do you have a praise inside of me? Yes, sir. Oh. Although I've been wounded, sometimes we have been scarred. But you know what? Don't you give up? Never, never give up. I've been scarred. The wound gets so deep sometimes. We never think we'll ever get out of this one. It needs a permanent scar. Please, whatever you do, stay connected. You better keep trusting. Oh, keep trusting in God. Praise in your spirit. 
this evening. Come on, y'all. Raise your hand and say, Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, no. Come on, y'all. Sometimes you don't know where it's coming from. But if you just open up your mouth and begin to praise God. Well, I still have a praise inside of me. Oh, God. I still No matter what the devil throw at me, I'll never lose my praise. Oh no. Hallelujah. 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 It's the highest praise that you can give. Hallelujah. It's amazing Hallelujah. what the praise can do. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise Hallelujah. shall continue to be in my mouth. Hey. My soul shall make her bones in the Lord. The humble shall help. Come magnify. Side of me. Somebody raise your hands above your head. Give the Lord a worship. Give the Lord a praise. If God has been good to you, open your mouth. Raise your hands. Shout a praise to Almighty God inside this convention center. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 Somebody help me shout! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Glory to God! Glory to God. Through many a dangers, toils and snare, I have already come. Praise God. Praise God. I'm happy every day. 
as I travel through this land. I've been mighty blessed by God and I'm holding to his hand. The journey's almost over. All the battles ready won. Church of God, I have a feeling in my heart the best is yet to come. I'm standing now on Jordan's bank as I face the rolling tide. The storms and clouds are raging, but I'm happy down inside. Oh, I see the lifeboat coming. Oh, to take safely home. New Testament Church of God. I have a feeling in my heart the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come when I walk to heaven's gate. The first time I see. God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I recognize the third person of the triune God, the Holy Spirit, very much active and alive in our midst this afternoon. Let me recognize our administrative bishop, Dr. Roy Notice, and First Lady, Dr. Vinet Notice. Our Caribbean Field Director, Bishop Dr. Ishmael, and he just said to me, he's no longer prince since May. He's now a King Charles. First Lady, Sister Charles, members of the National Executive Council and their spouse, national ministry leaders, Bishop Dr. W. A. Blair, immediate past administrative bishop of this Church of God here in Jamaica. 
district overseers, local pastors, and other distinguished ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters of the Church of God, our online audience who are on the various platforms. Good evening. Good evening. Let me salute my wife, Kadian, for 19 years. We seated on the platform with us this evening. Thank you, ma'am. You have contributed much to me looking like the way how I look this evening. I love you one more time, the more. Our kids, Mikhail and Mikida, I am indeed humbled and honored to have been asked to share the word to this gathering this afternoon at our 98th National Convention. I pause to pay tribute to a mother who brought me into this world 40 plus years ago, but I didn't have much time with her because a few years later at ECI Basic School, she transitioned to glory. And I pay tribute to a grandmother who took up the responsibility of parenting me and have brought me up and some years ago she departed this life. I pay tribute to them for raising me up in challenging times with little or nothing. Traveled to primary school for two years barefoot, silver in kerchiefs, but I went to school anyway. And today I stand proud to say, that is all because of the grace of God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I also want to give high recognition to Bishop Cornel Shaw, who sent me off into ministry some years ago, saw something in me when I was at Cobbler, like a Roman evangelist. And he said, there's much more in you than just going around. I ran away from it, but here I am today. Humbled. God bless you, Bishop Shaw. And thank you, Bishop Notice, for placing the confidence in me to share this evening to these distinguished men and women of the faith. Turn with me to the book of Psalm 34. It was read by Sister Pinnock, but permit me to read two verses, three verses rather, verses 13 through to 15. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil. And do good, seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. And his ears are open unto their cry. The word of the Lord from the King James Version. The New International Version says, turn away from evil and do good. Work hard at living in peace with others. Forward together, resisting evil, doing good. Somebody praise God. The police officer, and somebody said, yes, you would have must started out with something about police. After 21 years serving, why shouldn't I? The police officer 
goes to arrest a man and the man resists arrest what does that mean it means that he is doing everything in his power to keep the policeman from arresting him what he's doing he's fighting back somebody praise god when satan attacks the christian the child of god must aim to resist avoid and shun every attempt it makes to restrain restrict or hinder him or her from moving forward somebody praise god the book of psalms also known as the psalter is a collection of poetry and hymns found in the hebrew bible or we call it the old testament and it's considered one of the most significant books in the bible it is traditionally attributed to king david but it includes contributions from various authors over several centuries the book of psalms consists of 150 individual poems or songs each known as a psalm these psalms cover a wide range of emotions experiences and the themes including praise thanksgiving lament confession wisdom and prophecy they reflect the full spectrum of human emotions and provide a language for expressing the depths of human experience in relation to God. The Psalms are written in Hebrew poetry and often feature parallelism where ideas are repeated or contrasted for emphasis. They utilize vivid imagery, metaphor, and figurative language to convey their message. The poems often address God directly, expressing the psalmist's thoughts, feelings, and desires in relation to God's character and actions. Somebody praise God. The book of Psalms can be divided into several categories, including praise psalms, lament psalms, wisdom psalms, royal psalms, messianic psalms. What are messianic psalms? These psalms contain prophetic references to a future Messiah who would be a king and a savior. Somebody praise God. The book of Psalms is highly valued in both Jewish and Christian traditions. It serves as a source of spiritual inspiration, comfort, and guidance. My brothers and sisters, the chapter at focus, chapter 34 of the book of Psalm, is believed to have been composed during a difficult period in David's life when he was fleeing from King Saul who sought to kill him. Somebody praise God. Oh God Almighty. The scripture on Saul pursuing David can be found primarily in the first book of Samuel in the Old Testament of the Bible. The context begins in 1 Samuel 18 after David's victory over the Philistine giant Goliath which gained him favor and popularity among the people of Israel. However, this also sparked jealousy and insecurity in King Saul. Somebody praise God. Saul's jealousy and attempts to kill David according to 1 Samuel 18 through to chapter 19. As David gained more success and admiration, Saul's jealousy grew. Oh God, there's a preacher coming on. Somebody praise God. Saul's jealousy grew as David gained more success and admiration. Our very success and admiration has caused some souls of today to be very jealous 
But our success is not because of solely our own merit, but because of God's divine intervention in our lives. Somebody praise God. So go ahead, Saul, and be jealous. Go ahead. My success, your success comes from Jah. I feel a little preacher coming on here. Somebody praise Almighty God. Saul made several attempts to eliminate David, including throwing a spear at him whilst he played music. He even sent him on dangerous military missions. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Meals was also provided for David to partake of. Oh God Almighty. But God was with the man. When God is with the man, no plot, no Derek. Can I get a little help from somebody here? No plot, no evil scheme orchestrated from the belly of hell can stop a righteous man, a good man from shining. I need a little help around here, Spalling. Somebody help me shout in this house. Hallelujah! God. Perhaps Sir David reflected how he could have facilitated vicious and dangerous thoughts uh, and carry out evil acts against Saul. But he says, I rather to turn away from evil. See, oh God Almighty, practice good, seek peace and pursue it. Somebody praise God. This verse is part of a larger passage where David encourages the reader to trust in God's deliverance and to seek righteousness. David urges the readers then and he's urging us now and he's urging those and he will urge those who are to come to fear the Lord. Oh God, somebody help me here. For those who do so will lack nothing. Somebody say nothing. Say lack nothing. When you fear God, you lack nothing. The verse emphasizes the importance of personal conduct and behavior. It advises individuals to refrain from engaging in evil actions and instead actively engage in doing good. Somebody praise God. Oh God Almighty. The phrase seek peace and pursue it. Though I might seem like I'm running ahead of myself. Uh, suggest the pursuit of peaceful relationship with others and the avoidance of conflicts. Which I will shed a little light on later on. The context of this verse. Psalm 34 40. Is one of seeking refuge in God during challenging times and fighting and finding guidance in a living and righteous and upright life. David encourages the reader to trust in God's protection and to live according to his principles of righteousness, which include turning away from evil, doing good and actively pursuing peace. My brothers and sisters, as we seek to delve further in the text, let us observe and apply these truths as we move forward together. Firstly, one, put off evil. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout something quickly in this house. Say, put off evil. Uh, to put off evil based on the message of this verse means to distance oneself 
from it. Turn away from wickedness and refuse to engage in any actions or thoughts that are contrary to righteousness. It involves intentionally choosing not to participate in activities that are morally wrong or harmful to oneself or others. It is an unknown author who said, and I quote, he said, evil hides behind a mask. Oh God Almighty. Evil hides behind a mask. The unknown writer goes on to say, Bishop Clark, evil is like a cancer depending for its existence on not being seen. Somebody praise God. The author also says evil can only prosper when not diagnosed. Oh God Almighty, or cut out. Somebody praise God. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost in this pulpit. Church, evil. The Hebrew word translated as Ra. This word carries a broad range of meanings, encompassing various aspects of wickedness, trouble, distress, calamity, or moral wrongdoing. It is used to describe actions, attitudes, or conditions that are contrary to God's standards of righteousness. Somebody help me quickly. Oh God, the word evil implies turning away, oh God, from anything, God Almighty, that is morally wrong or harmful. It refers to a deliberate rejection of sinful behavior. Somebody praise God. I call on all those who gathered here at this convention center and all those watching and listening online. The time has come for us to reject, Lord God, all all things and all that pertains to sinful behavior evil harmful wrong come on somebody I call on this nation I call on this country I call on this church I call on this body of people come on don't facilitate don't entertain any policy any law that borders on evil and is contrary to our biblical teachings good God Almighty stand up for righteousness stand up for godliness if it's wrong it's wrong if the Bible says it's wrong it's wrong oh God I need a little help somebody shout in here somebody shout in here so, oh, somebody shout in here we can't entertain we can't accept evil thoughts evil actions rather like at any policy any law any regulation i reiterate that borders and jesus i feel a helper coming Somebody help me preach you. Bishop, you already gave me promise. Glory to God Almighty. Jesus Christ. I feel a word in my belly. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. The psalmist encourages the readers to distance themselves from wickedness and to choose a path of righteousness instead. David for sure must have had harbored or entertained evil thoughts of God towards Saul as Saul pursued him. But David rejected those thoughts somebody praise God instead of carrying it around David put off the evil ideas of wanting to do wrong perhaps to Saul oh somebody shout in this house somebody shout in this house somebody shout glory somebody shout glory somebody shout glory somebody shout glory 
the word Ra reminds us of the oh God is gonna move again somebody shout hallelujah the word Ra reminds us of the importance of actively resisting and turning away from anything that opposes God's way Church of God from Moran Point to Nigel Point Pentecostals True Blue Born Again Tongue Talking Foot Stamping Oh God Almighty Chase the evil thoughts out Chase the evil actions out Evil is about to overrun our nation Somebody praise God I need some Holy Ghost warriors to help me march down the belly of hell and tell Satan the blood of Jesus is against you oh God I want to run Bishop oh, somebody help me in the house somebody shout somebody shout hallelujah so oh God Almighty somebody somebody evil plots evil schemes evil derricks we command you to come out of Jamaica come out of Parliament come out of school room come out oh God. I'm trying to keep it somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah oh god almighty somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah Oh God Almighty, we are the Holy Ghost people. Hallelujah! Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Udabo Shariai. So David says in verse 13, he said, Keep thy tongue. From speaking evil and thy lips from speaking guile guile there from telling lies somebody praise God if we are going to keep our tongues from speaking evil what then must we do Bishop what then must we do come with me no man let's go back to verse 1 of Psalm 34 what it says I will bless the Lord somebody help me here you got to replace you got to replace evil with good somebody praise God so David says I'm gonna bless the Lord at all times the Hebrew word is the same as me it's the same as praise it means to bow down somebody praise God I hear David say I will bow down and I will worship the Lord not just Sunday morning not just Tuesday morning not just in Bible studies but even when I am among those who are philosophers those who are unbelievers those who are wayward I will bless oh you're praying for me somebody pray for the evangelist I feel a little help around here somebody help me down here somebody help me down here somebody praise God somebody worship if when we worship giants die 
when we worship the God of come down somebody shout somebody shout oh God Almighty oh Jesus Christ every evil spirit every giant every voodoo every witch every Indian chief oh God Somebody shout hallelujah. Sit down, let me preach a little bit more to you. For those who are a little bit troubled in your spirit and say it's two minutes after six. Bishop had just said to me, preach. We have taken away some of your time, preach. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Something is going to happen at Rodan Spen. Somebody, I need some Holy Ghost people, Sister Page, to help me run up and down and praise Jesus. I need somebody to clap your hands and help me praise Jesus. Stamp your feet and help me praise Jesus. Oh God Almighty, oh, what kind of church is this? Bishop Clark, are you marry me? Help me preach around here. What kind of church is this? It is a Holy Ghost. Foot stamping. evil in our nation come on anointed warriors come on tongue talking warriors evil put off evil Jesus Bishop there's a shift there's a shift there's a shift there's a Come on, warriors! Come on, church of God! Let's ash! Oh my 
tête. Alléluia. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, drop your weapon. Dr. Noah is a feeling. Drop your weapon. Oh, Dr. Blair. Oh, my boss. I feel God in this place. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. If you're not up here, you can't feel what we're feeling up here. But this is not me. The Holy Ghost is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Somebody welcome the Holy Ghost. Somebody welcome the tribe. My God. Put off evil. Shun it. Resist it. Reject it. Do not accept it. It is of the devil. For the final time, sit down, Dr. Charles. Sit down. Bishop, fire in the pulpit. Fire in the pulpit. Fire in the pulpit. Fire, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Somebody, oh, somebody, somebody. Oh, Bishop Ellis. Fire. Oh, my help. My help. My help! All of my help! Put off evil! Down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So as I move to my second point. As I move to my second point. It is Edmund Burke, an Irish born who became an English statesman, a member of the House of Commons. He's known for his philosophical writings and his perpetual references to good and evil. This is one of his quotes. This is one of his quotes. He said, Evil prevails when good people do nothing. Ah. 
We have more than one, two, three good godly people, yeah, Dr. Ferdinand, gathered in Oden Spen Old Harbor that can stop evil from prevailing. It seems to be very rampant and appears as if it is having a control and an upper hand over our people and our nation. But because we are gathered, and we have gathered from Friday, Saturday, and today. Evil plots and schemes cannot and will not prevail. Lift your hand and say, oh no, oh no. Say, oh no, evil. Say, no, 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 no. God Almighty. Church. When bad or evil men, forces, agencies, forces or agencies combine, the good, the righteous, the godly men and women who are anointed of God must become closer associates, link up, team up, and begin to move forward together. Can I call on this body of Christ? Can I say to us, evil cannot be having, it can't be that evil is having a field day, sir, so to speak. Attacking left, right, and center. And we sit down attacking one another at the same time. Who are we? Are we for or are we against? Can't be body of Christ. We must be our brother's keeper. We must actively disengage the evil plots and assignments that are lurking to take us down, take down the body of Christ. Can I say this quickly? It cannot be that evil men and women orchestrate evil thoughts and ideas, conceive, come on somebody, things that are negative, nasty, and dirty about the body of Christ and then we who should be defending it defending the body of Christ join with them come on man put it off come on somebody help me here oh God church if we're gonna move forward then we've got to join with the my grandmother's songbook the redemption song 350. He said, when Israel out of bondage came, a sea before them lay. The Lord reached down his mighty hand and rolled the sea away. He said, then forward still, tis Jehovah's will. Though the billows, come on somebody, dash and spray. Come on church. With a conquering tread, we're gonna push ahead. I need some Holy Ghost. I need some born again, spirit filled believers to help me push ahead and roll those forces of evil away. Roll them out of our community. Roll them out of our schools. Roll them out of our security forces. Roll them out of parliament. Roll them out of king's house. Roll them out of arms house. Roll them out of every house. Roll them. Church. Put off evil forward together putting off evil church of God somebody shout hallelujah 
But not only should we put off evil and leave it there, but as we put off evil, let's practice the good. Put off the evil and take up something. Practice the good. Is there somebody in here helping me? I feel you helping me, Bishop. Can I say that evil isn't just to indulge in voodoo and witchcraft, <laughs> witches and warlocks. There are other elements of evil which include rebellion. Sit down, good. I'm going to preach for a couple more seconds. Somebody help me here. When we are rebellious, it is evil. When we are disobedient to those who are over us, it's evil. When we do injustice, it is evil. When we harbor unkind thoughts towards our one another, it is evil. It is evil when we harbor thoughts and sometimes utter it to our bodies about Dr. Sam. And then we come before Dr. Sam. Oh, I love you. That's hypocrisy and that's evil. Are coming home. Somebody praise God. Practice the good. Practice to do good can be understood as actively engaging in righteous and virtuous actions. It emphasizes the importance of intentionally choosing to live a life that aligns with God's commandments and moral values. Turning away from evil is the first step in practicing to do good. So the Hebrew word translated as good is tov. Help me now. Tov is a commonly, commonly used term in Hebrew and it carries the meaning or idea of good, pleasant, beautiful, or beneficial. Somebody praise God. It is a versatile word. It is a versatile word that can be applied to various contexts and can encompass both moral goodness and the idea of something being desirable or beneficial. Somebody praise God. So in the specific verse, Psalm 34, 14, the complete phrase in Hebrew is Sermera Vasetov, which can be translated as turn away from evil and do good. Tov is used in contrast to Ra. Evil, emphasizing the importance of avoiding evil and actively engaging what is good, righteous, pleasing to God. Good and evil have no form of comparison, Bishop. They are opposite terms. It is definitely odd to say, out of evil, comfort good. Change that. I do not use it. What is more acceptable is from the from the situation that should have turned out to be evil, comfort, good. Somebody praise God. Turn it around, my brothers and sisters. The evil plot, uh, destructive weapons, and wicked schemes that were set for you and I, that was set for your household, that was set for my family, for my church, for my children, didn't connect or reach. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Why? Because God in his power intercepted them and sent good our way instead. Somebody praise God. So when the evil schemes and plots were set, Bishop Clark, to have taken effect from 2021. Na, 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 God Almighty, somebody praise God. They just did not reach your address. Somebody help me here. 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 I'm coming home. Somebody praise God. Look at your neighbor. Say they did not reach your address. Your daughter, your son, your wife, your husband, because 
God intercepted it. Somebody praise God. And there was a divine cancellation. Somebody praise God. Even now, upon the authority of the Holy Spirit, I declare that there be a divine cancellation. Oh, Shaku, Moraba, Sabo, Kenamahusi, Kitai. I feel some heavenly languages. Is it fine? Oh, Shabo, Sabai. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody, oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Reinforcement. Reinforcement. Somebody help me here. Enough. Come, come, come. Enough is enough. Evil schemes die. Evil plots rebound. Reverse. Reverse. Back to your sender. In the name of Jesus. I come for my joy. I come for my peace. I come for my happiness. Sister Page. Help me please. Shudo sa. Holy Spirit. I'm going somewhere. Those who know battle. I'm in a battle here. Somebody shout hallelujah. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. No death. No accident. Shudo sa. Somebody help me push. Somebody help me push. I want to give birth. Oh God. Somebody. Somebody. So. Oh. Oh. Holy Spirit. Mama. Glory. 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 Glory, glory, church of God, we cancel it, Jesus said, behold, I give you power, church, we have power, cancel it. Turn it back. Turn it back. Shh. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody turn it back. Not my daughter. Bishop notice. I don't mean to trouble you. But walk over to Dr. Notice and hug her and squeeze her and say, not our daughter. It is canceled. Jesus Christ. Oh, pastors. Help me, pastors. Help me. Don't let me die here. Oh. 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 Go! 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 We cancel it. We reverse it. Surely. Surely. Goodness. Come, 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 church. Come, come. Come, come. Surely. Goodness and mercy. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell me, 
Jamaica. 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 We send out every evil back to the pit of hell. Demonic force, witches, Indian chief. We send you out. Half our television stations, false prophets, territorial demon. You have infested our young minds for too long. We declare goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell and I shall dwell oh 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 somebody shout this nation is under curfew this nation is now under holy orders because evil schemes are dying evil forces are running because the church triumphant is alive she is alive upon this rock come 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 i build my church and the gates of hell the gates of hell shall not prevail whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven whatever we loose on earth it's loosed in heaven. Bind him. Bind evil. For yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear. Oh, oh, Bishop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Shout cancer! Shout cancer! Put off evil! Practice good! And finally, pursue peace! Pursue peace! The peace that passeth all understanding! Somebody shout hallelujah. Jehovah Shalom is our peace. Somebody pursue peace. Pursue peace. They are plotting against you. But look at them as a peace, brother. You know they are trying to kill you. But go back to your church. Go back to your community. And say that peace I leave. The peace I bring. Peace I bring you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm coming home. Somebody help me come home. Somebody help me come home. Oh. I won't go further. But I rather yield. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Peace in this nation. Peace. Peace in the home. Peace in the marriage. Peace in the workplace. Peace in Rima. Peace in Jungle. Peace in Tivoli. Peace in Central Jamaica. Peace in Western Jamaica. Pursue peace. We silence every warmonger. We silence every thought of evil. We condemn, we cut down every evil and we show goodness, peace, 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 hallelujah, 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 clap your hands, holy people. For the Lord is our God. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth 
forever 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 David pursued peace he could have killed Saul when they met under the cave But he said to his warriors, Touch not the Lord's anointed and do his prophet no harm. That man desired peace, even though Saul was determined to kill him. David got the upper hand, but he desired peace. And he said to his men, Don't kill him. David desired peace. Because he could have dealt with Absalom the way how would Absalom dealt with him. But he said peace. Joseph desired peace because he could have dealt with his brothers the way they treated him. But in Genesis chapter 50, when they asked him, he said, am I a God that I should forgive? Anyway. peace and I close with this he desired peace because he said is there any left of the house of Saul that I can show kindness doctor notice somebody say yes Saul have a grandson living but he's way down in a barren land in a place of forgetfulness. Lodibar. He says, send for him. Bring him up. Come on, somebody. Today, some of you are in your Lodibar. Some of you came to convention in your dry state. But I'm sending you back. To go back and tell somebody. You're now at the king's table. You're no longer the tail. You're the head. You're no longer. Mephibosheth said, What can a dead dog like me do? In my own words. David said, Come up higher. Can I tell somebody? Despite your culture, your context, and your situation. Come up higher. There's a call to come up higher. I call on the body of Christ going into this new church here. Come up higher. You may be at a place of dryness, but the call has come. Come up higher. Put off the evil. Practice the good. Pursue peace. And come up higher. Amen. Amen. Come up high. Come up high. Come up high. Leave your place of dryness. It doesn't matter who have done your evil. Counteract it with the good. Pursue peace. Say, brother, sister, I'm aware. But I won't do as you do. I won't return the evil that you have shown to me or done to me. But I'm going to shower you with good. I'm going to extend the olive branch. For I need to make heaven my home. The Lord bless you. Stand right where you are, everyone. Let's pause for a moment. 
I believe the Lord has spoken to the church. And he has spoken to the church in power and with very piercing words. The Lord is calling us to come up higher. But any believer who dabbles in evil cannot come up higher. Any one of us that practices immorality, we are fertilizing evil and we cannot come up higher. So right now I want to call all of us to a time of repentance because evil prevails in the nation because the church is compromised. Oh, let's bow our heads. Let's bow our heads, everybody. Everybody, everybody, let's bow our heads and whisper a prayer to the Lord to say, Lord, I will shake off evil. I will abandon sin and I will hold on to righteousness. It's prayer time, it's prayer time. Nobody leave, nobody move. If we want to go higher, we have to shake off some things from our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have spoken. And as a church, we say, Amen. As a church, we say, Yes, Lord. As a church, we say, We will yield to you, O God. We will yield and submit to the truths of your word. We will not resist the spirit. We will not resist good. So now, oh God, we confess. So we lay aside. Lord, some of us have benefited from lotus scamming. Lord, we say we will not take the money anymore. Some of us, oh God, we are practicing fornication and adultery. We are involved with corruption at customs. We pay off police officers. We see evil in our communities, Lord. And we turn a blind eye. Oh God, forgive us. Forgive us, oh God, for practicing sorcery. Forgive us, oh God, for messing up our hands in blood money. Oh, we cry to you as a church. Cleanse us, oh God. Lord, we don't want you to destroy any Ananias and Sapphira. So we pray against a lying spirit. We pray against falsehood. We pray against hypocrisy. As we prepare to do good. Raise your hand with me, church. This is a moment. This is a moment. This is a moment. The church of God is going home. Shaking off evil. The church of God is not a mix-up church. The church of God will not double in corruption. Oh, raise your hand if you're committed to doing good. If you want to leave here doing good. If you want to make a decision that you will not only seek after peace, but you will pursue it. Is there anybody here who wants to make up with your neighbors when you go back home? Is there anybody who wants to make up with a family member who costs you gone to bed and you're harboring bitterness but you're leaving convention and you're saying you're shaking it off. Come with me now, church. We're closing. You're making a commitment that you're going to practice forgiveness. You're going to seek out those who don't like you because you're pursuing peace. Raise your hand with me again, church, and declare, I'm a peacemaker. I'm a peacemaker. I will only war against evil. But I will make peace with my brothers and my sisters. I will do good. And goodness will follow me. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, 
shake off evil practice good and good will follow you blessings will overflow in your life God will promote you God will lift you higher but do good turn to your neighbor again and say do good live right do right do justice love mercy and walk with God we sing surely goodness and mercy shall follow me sing with me everybody we claim the blessing in our lives surely goodness surely goodness and mercy shall follow come on everybody stand with me as we sing Surely goodness, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days, all the days of my life. And I, and I will dwell. Raise your hands with me, everybody, as we make that pledge. Everybody, raise your voice, surely. Surely, and to the person next to you just before we go we thank you for being at convention 2023 we pronounce a blessing over you go into your communities and back to your churches forward together we go we're pursuing good we're tearing down evil we're going forward with justice we will serve our communities a salt and light to the glory of God. May a spirit of revival flow out of this convention. May the Lord journey with you as you go on the roads. Brothers and sisters, do no evil. Do good. Plant good seeds. Walk holy. Live right. Spread the gospel. And watch God change things around. May the blessings of God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest, remain, and abide with you now and forever. And the church of God says amen. And the church of God shouts amen. God bless you. See you again in another convention. We sing as we go out. The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you, the Lord is to on you, and give you, and give you, the Lord
chairs where you were sitting. Just pack up some of those chairs, just stockpile them. We see some persons already doing them. So just go ahead and stockpile the ones that have